Hi guys, it's Janet Michelle at You Caught Me Crafting and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I roll up a large canvas. And if you've been watching this channel, you know I love Diamond Painting Deutschland, Diamond Art Club, Distracted by Diamonds, and I love their large kits. So I do have to do this with every single one of my paintings because I don't work on small kits. I do have a bunch of 30 by 40s, but a lot of them are from AliExpress. And I bought those before I fully understood, which I think a lot of us do, how important it is to pay the artist to respect them, to respect that this is their artwork and that we couldn't be doing this without them. So those you will not be seeing on my channel, maybe in a stash video, but I won't be using them. Definitely not mentioning the companies, but enough of that. This is a how-to and it's fairly simple the way that I do it. I like to use a lot of the time these little foam cores that come in the middle of your kit. They come in a lot of AliExpress kits or even just other kits. Here we go, perfect. <laughs> and what I do is I've already cut this one right here but I very carefully get my little giraffe that you guys see all the time and I start cutting let's see this already a cut and I don't want to waste but I'll start in the middle where there is usually a hole and then I just cut down 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 and I usually hold it upwards let's see vertically and when I'm holding it vertically I take my razor blade which you can't see it's right here but then I slowly Cut down, 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 until it reaches the other side, which has a hole also. <laughs> Whoops. I won't cut that out. You guys know me. And then I'll actually take my nail and I'll feel if I've gone all the way through. And you can see right here, all the way through. And that gives you a nice little place to put on your canvas and then you can roll your canvas up. You can also use pull noodles and my daughter decided to rip this one up so I just grabbed it and I would cut and clean that off just because there's dirt. But for one that's this big I might use it for like a Randall Spangler, those really long but thinner ones. And I do have a lot of those. Not just Randall Spangler, I just mean long thin ones in my part two that is coming up soon. I'm so excited. But I'm going to show you guys how I've been rolling up transparent. And you can see it's gorgeous. I'm going to lean you guys down. I'm working on this little section. And then I just have this left. And I know that some people might be appalled at the amount of ABs that I put in this, but... I love it and that's what matters. This is your craft. If you want to put no ABs, don't put any. If you want it to be all ABs, I've never seen one that's all ABs. I've seen all crystal, but do whatever you'd like. And I think it's coming out gorgeous. You can see the sparkle. And my friend Christina actually made me this pin that matches this diamond painting. And she made me pins that match other diamond paintings that I can show you guys later in pictures. Isn't this perfect? She's so talented. What I did for this one is I obviously did my washi tape in sections. And then if I hold it sideways, you can see that I have that little foam core in there. And I've slipped the bottom in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and unroll this. You can see diamonds are rolled outward. I'm going to take my little clips off. I say I want to work on this area and this is all done. But I don't want to have to lean forward over this and maybe get my sweatshirt or if you have pets, kids, anything. Dust, you don't want to get these diamonds dirty. Plus, you just want them out of the way. It's very easy to just go ahead and slip this foam core on. I will show you. I start at the side and here's where I cut it. And I hope you guys can see this. See there. And then I just kind of make sure that it's staying on the diamond painting. And towards the end it might get a little bit tight, but there we go. And you can see 
it's all the way through. And this will just make sure that the canvas doesn't roll up too tight on itself, especially if you're going to put it away for storage if you don't want to frame it yet. If you just wanted to do it for fun because you love the picture, and I mean, look at this, it's gorgeous. I'm in love with this picture. We have our foam board on, and I don't roll tightly, but the diamond's always facing outwards. See? Now when I'm working, I'll turn it like this and I will take my clips. Excuse me. I always pick clips that match the painting. As you can see, I have a matching diamond painting pen and I just put a clip right here and then a clip on the other side. And I want to leave this down because there are diamonds that I'm going to want to put here. You can see I'm working right here, but then I'll be finishing this very soon. There we go. And this actually fits on my light pad perfectly so I can work in here on my crafting desk. And it also fits on my little desk in my bedroom so I can sit in my bed comfortably and work on this, which is what I've been doing a lot of. And you can see this is done but it's not necessarily long enough to need to roll up but if you were just working from the bottom to the top you could and i'm not going to roll this tight because there are diamonds here you can see look at you could do exactly what i did with this you wouldn't even need the foam board because if there weren't diamonds here you don't need to worry about that especially with poured glue and you can roll it up like this here. I'm not gonna do it with this one just because this does have diamonds. I'll grab another painting really quickly. Or for me, it'll be two minutes for you guys, it'll be. So here is an example. This is the artist, which I've almost finished this top row. It might be kind of hard to see, but you can see the sparkly drills if I hold it up. You can tell I just pulled it down, it's been hanging up, and you can see that the bottom is all rolled up so that I don't have to worry about any of this. I could roll it up even further if I wanted to. This was just my choice and how I wanted to work on it, and I've been working on it. Just taking this top layer off, and you can see this is almost all done, and then I'll move down, and then, well, you guys don't need to know this, it's a how-to, but instead of working on the robot right away i'm gonna go ahead and do the sides and get a lot of the pink multi-placing done just because i love to save the most fun part for last how do you guys do it do you save one little spot or a big spot or maybe your ab's for last what do you guys like to do so there you can see i've rolled this up there are my little clips pink to match the robot you can see I really do use this. Here is a scent and I've used the yellow clips to match her outfit and J-Hope tape. And I have another painting I've been working on, but it's a surprise I can't show you guys yet. But here I haven't done the lettering yet, but I'm to here on her podium doing a lot of fun multi-placing and I cannot wait to move up and up and up. And as you can see here, I did not do horizontal and vertical because there is a lot of multi-placing and I'm loving that. So I just did the horizontal for a scent. And so as I work on this, and I keep going up and up and up, I will roll this this way with the diamonds. I will put my foam cord, just like I did with the transparent, just to make sure that the diamonds aren't squished. Never roll them in this way, you guys. Please don't. You've worked so hard on your diamond paintings. You do not want to roll it up and then take it out and be like, I'm ready to frame it. And you see that all of your diamonds have been pushed out of place because you've rolled them on the inside. So it's really so easy. Honestly, most people have pool noodles. And if you've been ordering diamond kits, 
it's likely that you have at least a couple of these and they're reusable. I reuse these all the time. You don't need to spend any money on this and it's just an easy way to make things manageable, especially if you're like me and you love large painting. For me, the bigger the better. I've been having so much fun with all of these and I cannot wait to show you more progress. I've just been working little bit by little bit on each one and other ones that I will show you guys very soon and we will get started on our diamond painting Deutschland project soon. As you know, I just finished kidding that up. We'll do a whip and chat with those very soon. That sounds like a lot of fun but there are a lot of great videos to come. So I will link everything that I've used in the bottom. I guess I can link pool noodles. I'm sure you have some, but I can link some just in case. And I will also link to all of these paintings that I've shown. These are distracted by diamonds. And then I always have my affiliate link down there for Diamond Art Club. And you can just type in, you caught me crafting for $10 off your first purchase if you'd like to. No pressure. I'm just telling you that so you can get money off. <laughs> and I'm going to go keep diamond painting. I just wanted to film this quickly for you guys because it's really so easy. And once you know how to do it, you're like, oh, easy and you can work on huge diamond paintings and not feel so stressed out and feel like it has to be laying out flat and you're flipping it around all the time. Crafting is supposed to be relaxing. That's what I think, especially when you're trying to use it to solve anxiety or just to rest at the end of the day, get some quiet time. You don't want to be worrying about the size of your painting. You just want to be putting down those beautiful drills. As I always say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. You never know what others are going through and they don't know what you're going through. I hope that you're having a wonderful day or night. Maybe I can get this up tonight. I'm not sure, but if not tomorrow, you guys know I try to get you videos as quickly as possible and I will see you guys so, so, so soon. Thank you so much for 500. I'm going to put a little bye with glitter 500 i cannot believe it again thank you i never thought that it would grow especially this fast but i love talking to each and every one of you guys in the comments and messages on instagram i love that you're starting your own channels and that you're learning a lot about me and you'll keep learning about me and i'll keep learning about you and let's just enjoy this journey together so have a great day. Diamond paint, crochet, do whatever you want, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys. I'm trying to wait there. Bye. And just to let you know, if there was anything that confused you or you just need some clarification, just pop the question in the comments below and someone else will answer you, but usually I answer quickly. And I'm always happy to answer any of your questions or make videos about anything that you want to learn, something that you're not sure about. Never feel afraid to ask a question in a comment. I'm always so happy to answer. So if I skipped over anything or if you're just like, hey, what did she mean by that? Just go ahead and ask below. All right, have a great day. Bye.